Dolo Young, our guest for this week's Fen Goes Racing, and not only, okay, we're here in the World Touring Car Rally Hungara ring, but Daryl is racing a joint programme in the GT1 Championship as well. Daryl, that's been you've been away from home for a long time. Yeah, you know, uh, when I had the opportunity to win World Championship this year, I never thought this would be possible. Uh, any drivers do this in a season. Uh, I had the chance to do uh, two World Championships, and that means a lot of traveling because this year the schedules actually didn't uh, conflict against each other. So not that I'm racing for three car, but you add on the GT1 calendar that don't have conflicts, so all of a sudden you're racing every weekend. So how does that work? Because obviously um, you normally live uh, at the, uh, at the uh, hotel, hotel. I go, oh, oh. Uh, sometimes I crash on friends' couches, like I had a friend in Paris, so I stopped in four in Paris for a couple of days and stuck on the couch. Uh, sometimes hotels, uh, visiting friends, and last time in Slovakia, I went to visit my old teammate uh, in Czech Republic. So we did a couple of days of fitness there, exercise, and then came over to the next round. So I really thought about having a base in Europe, or just going race to race, and that made much more sense. So, just a different country every week. You must have a very big fan. <laughs> And uh, I, when I take the couch, I also bore the laundry, so I, I, I do my laundry, and do my, okay, one, yeah, one pretty big bag with all my race gear and everything in it, so it's, it's, it's quite interesting. The logistics have to be like uh, tied perfectly, flights, and hire cars, and all that kind of stuff. You do that yourself? Uh, no, luckily I have somebody helping me with that, so that, that, uh, that alleviates a lot of pressure off me, you know, finding flights and hotels and all that kind of stuff. I get my general schedule organized myself, and then the, the hotels and stuff get filled in. So, uh, in terms of um, driving, what's the challenge of driving the two different cars? You have a front-wheel drive Seat and a rear-wheel drive Lamborghini. Well, um, uh, it's actually, I've been doing this for a lot of my, my career, driving a lot of different cars. Uh, I started out racing a lot of Porsches. For me, a lot of driving and, and re it's reaction time and instinct and stuff like that. When you get into a slide with a rear-wheel drive car, you have to do completely opposite to what you do in a, a front-wheel drive car. So, how do you train yourself to get into the mentality that you get? Yeah, well, it, it, it comes pretty natural. It's quite, it's quite amazing. Like, I mean, once you get a car, you're just in that mode. You, know, you do you do everything differently. Once you're in the front wheel drive car, you just kind of adapt right away. You know, it, it's quite. Um, I think once you get enough experience racing front and rear wheel drive, then you get that instinct. You just jumped in the rear wheel drive for the first time. Of course, it takes time to get used to it. But just just uh, yeah, catching the slides with full throttle with the front wheel drive, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot different. But what, you, you kind of just get in that zone once you get in the car, so it comes quite natural. And what, so what's the most enjoyable part of, um, of doing these joint programs this year? Um, well, just, just racing a lot, you know. I think it's very it's good. So I feel um, a lot more fake approach. It's, it's, it's a lot of uh, problems. But um, actually, it's it's actually very enjoyable. I you know I dreamed of something like this in my, in, in my career, and uh, to get this opportunity to race in two world championships is great. Yeah, so overall, so we've had two world touring car races for that GT as well. Next weekend, we week out, we out. Yes, <laughs> so there you go, guys. Finally. Yeah, I missed my bed a lot. I don't feel so. You said you missed it. She's we're Skyping a lot, thank you for Skyping. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, it's a challenge, of course, you know. Uh, this is what she tells me, that she supports my dreams and really wants me to go out. She's so very good. Daryl, thank you.